Oh, I see. But you're off tomorrow, so what are you going to do at home? Mm, I'll do what I usually do. Wash, cook, and maybe visit some family members and friends with my husband. <clears throat> your husband? Your husband this, your husband that. It's like you love your husband so much. Yes, I love him. Okay. Come. Sit down. Sit. Relax. I don't buy it. You need a man that can provide for you. Yes. A man that can take care of your needs. That knows the needs of a pretty woman. I am that man. Let me take care of you. Let me spoil you silly. Just a little. So there you go again. It's a pleasure to see you because now I'm waiting for you. Absolutely. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, darling. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Okay, please go inside. I'll join you. No. I want to know what is wrong with you. Sorry. Is it not that stupid man that calls himself our landlord? That idiot came to this house this afternoon. There was nothing left of his mouth. He didn't tell me. Eh? That I've never paid house rent before, that I'm owing. He called me a debtor. Eh, baby, me. He called me a debtor. As if that was not enough, your elder brother called earlier today to claim me that mama has been sent out of school because of school fees. You expect me to sit, fold my hands, and be happy? Is that why you're wearing this? Morning? Is it not enough to worry? We face this situation every year. You shouldn't allow that to worry you. My love, look at you, my beautiful wife, enslaved in another man's house because I am not capable. We have just one daughter, one daughter, and I can't even take care of her. She's living with your elder brother, and as we speak, she's been sent out of school because of school fees. I can't provide that. You expect me to be happy? Does that, does that make me a man? 
You don't have to say that. I just want to die. What I know is that you're my husband. And I love you. And I will always love you. Yes, you don't have money today. But I know you will have it by tomorrow. So you shouldn't let all these things worry you. Because worry will not solve the matter. Hmm? I brought food from the big house. Let's bring it to you. everything equal. He gives me all it takes to give you happiness in this marriage. See, all I want is for you to stop thinking and be happy. That alone is enough encouragement for me. As for Mama's school fees, I will meet my elder brother tomorrow for it. So stop worrying. Hmm? Check you out now, eh? You see, it's just a fresh. You find that. My guy, forget eh? that thing, I know. My cut of my baby, man. Then they try to brush me up. You know, I see the baby. Yeah. Things hard, yeah? Not the only you. Me, self, I they complain. Things hard. Alright? Now just make you ask another person. Maybe the person will tell you how it be from the house. You get? So not while, and I will be here now. Okay. Look, at least it is me. You said you were going to help me with this small job or, or small money. Make my use hold inside. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on that actually. I will work on something where well, I will call you soon. Okay? But for now, I can't go to Fresno and go see my baby. 
So we should go. Yes, that's about five kids. Father! Nick, so I know this is the best way to talk food. Okay, I'll see this done now. Let's say your condition was fast, man. <laughs> Life for Africa. <laughs> no, no, I mean it. I mean it. Sincerely. I mean but you know it's a lie. Um, I think I Why? Why, my love? I thought we were having fun. Um, can I see you? Um, it's okay. Um, I understand. Ed, let me excuse you guys. Hmm? Look, I've been meaning to ask you this question. Okay. Is this the kind of relationship you want for us? We have sex, party, meet and all of those. Ain't you thinking of settling down as in marriage? Because if you're not ready, this baby is moving on. Hey, come on, love. Don't be like that. Okay, don't get it twisted. I am working on something positive that is going to benefit the both of us. I mean, I don't want to settle down without me. I've got to make preparation for you and my unborn child. Okay? Just be patient with me, okay? Look, your friend Raymond doesn't have a dime. But he's in love with his wife. They are both in love with themselves. It's not all about money. It's all about love. Look, I have enough money to take care of us, and I have a house that we can move in. A house? Yes. But you, you told me the house belongs to your ex fiance who lives abroad. Is that not what you told me? I just said that to wade you off. I thought you were one of these, these playboys. But now that I know you're serious, we need to... Look, to tell you the truth, my fiance is dead. So now what's your excuse? Except you just want me for my body and you're not interested in marriage. Just tell me now. So you have the papers of the house? Yes, everything is intact with me. Problems are just too many for him. That's one of the reasons why I came to see my brother. Mm. Why won't he worry? Why won't he worry? You know, times are really hard everywhere. But wait a minute, Julie. I thought you work for a rich man. I mean, why not ask him for advancement in your salary so that you can upset your bills? My sister, I'm careful how I ask for money. The man has his eyes on me, so I don't want. <laughs> your boss's eyes on you? Hmm. <laughs> can you imagine? He even asked her to leave her husband and come and marry him as a second wife. <laughs> well, I do not subscribe to the idea of you leaving your husband to get married to a man whose wife and children are in America. But I do encourage pleasing him wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, collecting enough money for him. Why are you wasting your time? See, hmm? times are tough, I know. But neither my husband no, I. We soil our hands for conscience to get money. Hmm? Sister Teresa, hmm. I cannot cheat on my husband. You hear? Okay. 
and then get ready for your husband to worry for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And you will be under pressure. My dear sister, you have to be wise. No, you be wise. Be wise. Wait a minute. Are you encouraging my sister-in-law to cheat on her husband? You can imagine. I trust my sister-in-law. She will never do a thing like that. Julie. Yeah. Please, I hope you say it like that. Uh, when did you come? Uh, I just I just came uh, Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I was about to go in, but when you come back. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. Julia, I hope you I'm not uh, telling her to cheat on her husband. What are you telling her to do? It's so far to be wise. That is just it. Why? Brother, there are problems. Uh, Bremond and I, we are having hard times. The one that brought me here pertains to Little Mama's school fees. We've not been able to raise the money. Uh, well, if that's a problem, I'll handle it. Hey, brother? Yes. Hey, thank you. You see, I wanted your husband to know about it because I want him to work hard. I want him to work harder. Hmm? But that he's trying. Now let me tell you something. You see, I'm tired of repeating myself. Hmm? You see, when the good, when the good was going, eh? When the money was there, I advised you, invest this money. But no, no, no way. Now you see the mess. You see the mess. Oh well, within the week I'll call you. But before then, let me answer. There's no money in the way. There's no money. In the way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I was about leaving now. I will leave. Okay. So, he said I shouldn't worry about little mama's school fees because he had paid it. And, while I was leaving, he gave me some money and asked me to come back next week. Hi. Hey, Ben. Obin. God will bless your family. God will bless your family for giving me such a beautiful wife. Amen. God will bless your family for an understanding brother-in-law. God bless you, brother. Amen. At least that problem has been sorted out. It's just the it's the house rent that is the problem now. And God will bless you too. Hmm? Everything is going to Who is there? Huh? Jane! Jane! How many times have I asked you not to come to this house without calling me? She just call me now and now. Huh? By the way, why did you lose that boss? No, 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 no. How many times have I warned you that my boss is not good? She's just going to be a lot Jane, please come and sit down. Hmm? You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. What is the matter? What is the matter, Nathan? Oh, that is Mama. What happened to Mama? Mama is not feeling fine. Hey! Hey! And Tuguna sent me to you. To see if we're able to raise money to take Mama to the hospital. Brother, Mama needs surgery immediately. <laughs> if not, her appendicitis would rupture. Hey, would you be? It's going to go bad. Hey! That was why I took night bus. Come and see you. God, God, what have I done? Why has 
all this befalling me. What have I done? What have I done? Um, Jean, please let me take you so at least you can freshen it. What have I done? Why? What? What kind of life is this? You're thinking again. I've told you that thinking does not solve anything. It has never solved one. Obi, what would you have me do? Right now, I wish I could do anything, everything it takes to make money, including going to steal. God forbid! How can you say that? Siri, you just have to calm down. Hmm? The only thing we need to do is just to take these things to God in prayer. Hmm? Let me call Jane so that we pray together. Okay? Jane! Jane! Mm -hmm. Please come. Hmm? Come, let's pray together. Hmm? Hmm. Come, let's pray. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds our
I know I may have asked for so much when I asked you to leave your husband and follow me. Yes. I know you may have felt I am um, self-centered or selfish, but the truth is, what I feel for you is passion. I'm passionately in love with you. See, you may not marry me, but let me feel your tenderness. Let's have something. Let me just love me with time. Sir, are you asking me to have an affair with you? Yes. Yes. What I feel towards you is it's like a virus. It spreads around my body. You know what? When I'm alone, all I do is think about you. I think about you in bed with me, holding each other, caressing each other. I just want you. Sir, sir, when you talk like this, you really scare me. I don't know if I should just stop working for you. No, no, don't say that. That will kill me. I could increase your salary, double it, triple it. Just, just have an affair with me. Sir, please, what would you have for breakfast? Like seriously? Okay. Let me have toasted bread and coffee. Okay. Um, but first, a glass of juice. Okay. Hello, honey. Hello, Odin. Odin, Odin. I just got a call now from my uncle that my mother has been moved to the hospital. That if, if the surgery is not commenced immediately, something bad might happen. Odin, I don't know what's wrong. I'm confused. I don't even have a dime, let alone transport to go to the village. Ray, calm down. Calm down and listen. Are you listening to me? I'm listening. Okay. Do you have the money for the surgery? Open, you know I don't have any money. You know I, I don't have a dime on me. Even transport to the village, I don't have. Right now, all I need to do is call Eddie and know if, if there is something he could do for me. Really, see, you, you know you can't just rush off to the village like that. Because you don't have the money for the surgery. If you go, you will be of no use to Mama now. Really. Okay, why not talk to your friends so that he can lend you some money so that when you get to the village you can deposit the money so they can commence with the surgery. Oh, I'll, I'll try my best. I'll just call Eddie now. Let me see. At least if he can raise me small money for transport. At least let me get there first. Okay, okay. I'll see you when I get back from work then. Okay, okay, okay darling. I, I love you. I love you too. What is all this nonsense, eh? Hey! So, your breakfast is ready. Do you want it here or at the dining? Um, I'll come down this time. Okay. Sir, please, can I ask you for a favor? Yes. Yeah, 
Yes, why not? Please, can I get an advance payment of my salary? You know, it's stated in your contract that there's no um, upfront payment. So. So I know. It's just that I need the money to solve an immediate family problem. I've been onto you with my emotional disposition for a while now, and you've not considered that important enough, right? But you consider your um, family problem to be more important and big enough for me to waive my my terms and conditions as regards your contract. Thinking of it, don't you think that's a bit selfish? I'm sorry to have asked, sir. Please forgive me. Um, no problem. Thanks. Jimmy. I'll give you one million naira. Sir? Hmm? Yes. This is 500,000 naira. I'll pay 5,000 naira to you now. And I will also give you a check of 500,000 naira. Or if you don't want to check and bring in my balance and stuff like that, I'll do transfer to you right now. Just lie with me on this bed. Let me feel your back. I, I, I put something for fire. On fire, mass is on fire. Yes, it's not my wife, it is my mother. As I speak to you right now, my mother is lying helplessly ill in the hospital. I don't even have transport fare to the village. How much more the medical bills? And you look at me, I am finished. God, 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 shit, shit, shit. What do I do? What do I do? Hi, hi, hi. Raymond, honestly. You're not someone else to me. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm cashless. I don't have a dime. Hi! This is just the wrongest time. What do we do now? Hi. Um, Raymond. Yes. There's this job I'm supposed to do, yeah? To raise money. I don't mind you doing the job. At least to save your mom's life. That's if you can do it. God will bless you. No, 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 stop, stop. What are we friends for? What are we friends for? Stop, stop thanking me. God will bless you. Just tell me what kind of job and where? Where? where, where? Uh, you know, a Kenes compound, yeah? Yeah. That place is self planting and beans. That red oh, thing. Yes, yes. Exactly. Just down the lane, there's one uncompleted building there. Oh. One story building. Oh, that very axis. That's. Um, or on computer building at the back. Exactly, exactly. Oh, okay. okay. Um, the owner wants to commence building that place again. So he wants that place cleared and stuff like that. So once I just get there, I should tell them Eddie sent me. Exactly, just the gates man. Just tell him. He's expecting me, okay? Please call them before because I'm going there right now. I'll talk to them on phone that you're coming for the job. Right. life is this? What kind of life is this? Look at me. From a very good job to joblessness. 
from my own duplex. To will face me, I face your house in a remote area. My father is dying. There is no money. My mother is helplessly sick and needs an urgent surgery. There is still no money. My daughter is out of school simply because I cannot pay her fee. God. Now my wife, my wife is enslaved in another man's house all because she wants to support me. She wants to win this family. What kind of life is this? 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 That's a good one. Come on. Yeah. This is what I love. Nothing seems to be safe. The boyfriend becomes risky. Keep pushing mine. Keep pushing. 
Finally, what changed our story? As I speak to you, no more poverty, no more hand to mouth begging, no more, uh, no more begging. My mom 
My mom's surgery has been taken care of, and I still have more cash to come. You know what, baby? Come with me, let me show you something. Don't look at me, follow your husband. It's bigger than what people say, that it's bigger than what people say. Bigger than what people say. What is wrong with you? Why is it that any time I try to celebrate, you will win it? What is wrong with you? Where did you get that money from? How did you didn't do any funny? How did you not steal somebody's money? Okay. Listen. You know me very well. You know me from day one that I am not a thief. You know that on no condition will I take what does not belong to me. You know. Do you remember my friend Eddie, right? Okay. I told Eddie that I can't continue like this. I'm broke. I need to take care of my family. I need money. He said, no problem. He will get me a job. He got me one job to clean up one uncompleted building. Lo and behold, on my first day at work, look at me. Look at this Ghana must go. And I went towards it and opened scratch. There is no other way than to say God is God. So baby, celebrate with your husband. God has helped us. God has blessed us. So Raymond, you're not scared of that money inside there? Yeah. Don't you know that money belongs to those ambrobas that worked last night? I even had the ghost to bring the money into our house. Raymond, go and remove that money. Go and remove it. What if they come here and kill us? What is wrong with you, babe? What if they come here and kill us? Look, my love. Those arm robbers, if they want to come here to kill me, are they my ass? Let them come and kill me. That money, on no condition will I return that money. I'm made. Hey! This money that God used to bless me, I'm talking about my brother. If you, what? For me, how come you got used to poverty like this? God! God! Why have you allowed my wife to be used to poverty? Why? Eh? Why? See, 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 you know, listen, let me tell you. I am not spending one minute in this house with your money there. Do you hear? It'd be Ambrobas life, eh? You can't just kill me. Why can't you be reasonable for once? But this is the answer to the prayers that you and I have been praying. What is all this? Baby, this is a man, Sheila. No! It is bad omen. This thing is just like a time bomb waiting to destroy our lives. What if these people come looking for their money, Raymond? You hate the way they shot through the night. Do you think they are going to embrace you for keeping their money? What, what if they kill you? What if they kill us? What happens to our daughter? Raymond, please. Well, the police can even jail you. They can just investigate this and I will go to jail. Baby, what? Do just please. What are you? Just what? take the money back. Like, what are you saying? I mean, nobody saw me. Huh? Nobody saw me take the money. Look, let me tell you. You are sounding like I'm taking the whole risk. Life itself, it's a risk. It's not stupid ones. Raymond, hey, we used to be rich, I know. What? Now that it seems like we're lacking, we don't have to damage the future with what is not right. Please just report the money, just tell the police and let them come take the money. No way! Look, this is God answering my prayer. 18 million naira, is that what you want me to take and go and return? What is wrong with you? How do I pay my mother's hospital bill? How do I take care of my father? How do I pay my, my, my daughter's school fees? How do I take care of you? What are you saying? Bro? I have what it takes to take care of all that. This is one million. We can use it to sort out all these things. Wait, wait a minute. You said this is what? One million man. How did you get this one? Mr. Alfred gave it to me. Oh. I see. <laughs> Mr. Alfred gave you one million naira. Just like that. 
you happen to be his cousin or his relative that he would just get to the bank he would do one million naira and just give to you what did you give to him in return nothing he just gave it to me you shouldn't be concerned about that just take him and get rid of that one there please So, so what did Mr. Offen now Hey! Now tell me, how did you get this money? Why did he give me this money? Why? Tell me, because you once told me that Mr. Alfred has his eyes on you. Now tell me, did you sleep with him? Did you sleep with him? Another man? Why? Why? Baby, why? Baby, when I couldn't watch and see you so far. And Mama's health. had my body, but you have my heart, Raymond. Raymond, I love you. He's sleeping. Eh? Is it not too early? What do you mean by is it not too early? Eh? I gave you a job I could have done to get money and you disappointed me. No, don't come to my house and start shouting at me, please. I said I will explain to you what happened later. But before then, eh? You give me one second. Look at this man, though. This is the only person that will see you. Where is my wife? Please stop asking me useless questions. I'm not your wife's keeper. L listen, if you don't want to do that job, you tell me I'll go and do it myself because I need the money. Look, there is something very important I need to show you. Something way, way bigger than this job you're talking about. Uh -huh. Follow me. Follow me. Um, yes, like I was saying, you can send it across to me to make a great deal. Um, Mr. Debayo, if you can bring it to me, I think it will make a great deal. Yes, I know what I'm saying. Do everything in your power to make it possible. Uh, no problem. Okay. 
Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, morning. Um, you have a lot inside to do. You can't do that standing there, okay? Go into and work. I am not here to work. I came to return this. I don't need the money. The filthiness of my body clamps my emotions. And I can't continue. It was an opportunity working for you, Mr. Alfred. Thank you. How you've chose to bless your children. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I was the one who found the money. Let me do the prayer. Just say amen. What is the no, no, just say amen. Hey! Be saying amen. You are wonderful. Be saying amen. Formally resigned from Mr. Alfred's employer. You did what? You returned the money. Why? Because you no longer need it. Who said that I no longer need it? I mean, you earn it. It's yours. I would have died and earned that money the way I did. I had to bear the same to get you the money for your mother's health. But since what I did brought me nothing but shame and scorn from you. Let's return with a baby shit. Babe.
What is the meaning of this and where are you going to? I'm leaving. Ray, I'm going to my brother's house. Since my good intentions have brought me resentment. Besides, I told you I will not have anything. That I will not continue to sleep in this house with that bag of money here. Ruby, you would leave? Come on. I have. Okay, look. I know I may have overreacted concerning that money issue, but trust me, I, I don't hate you. You know how much I love you. And I also know how much you love me and the extent at which you would go for this family. Alright, I'm sorry. Oh, please. Hold it, Ray. I still would not have anything to do with that money. It's not like I don't want money, but because it's risky. And because of that, I won't stay. You would leave? Where is the forever that you promised me? As soon as I come back from the village, I will dispose of that money, I promise you. You will? I will. I will and every other thing that will make you happy. I will. I'm sorry. Please, you can talk of any other thing, but don't ever talk of leaving me. I will die. Please. for what they want and grab it regardless. Let me not take much of your time. Take a look at this twin place. Beautiful, yeah? Classic. This duplex you're seeing is owned by a 30 years old man. is barely 25 years old and I heard he's got this property like this in Calabar, Lagos and Canada. He has this in Now, this particular one surprises me immensely. You know why? Because you and I know this boy when he was younger. I'm sure you know Obiefu now. Yeah, uh, Obiefuna that we buy food for that has nothing has that plastic factory you're saying that and it's got a soap factory as well. Wait, 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 wait. Um, Obie, the same Obiefuna that we The same Obiefuna! He owns this property. That is not the only property, my brother. Obiefuna. Obiefuna. Obiefuna's garage will burst your bubbles. Obiefuna has a G-Wagon. Obiefuna has a Range Rover Sport. Obiefuna has a Mercedes GLK. Obiefuna flies the wife abroad every two months. Now, young man, how old are you? The last time I checked, old man, you are 40. 
What have you achieved? Now tell me, is this what you want for your life? All the success you just saw now was achieved by men with lion hearts. Men who go for what they want. Men who are not scared to achieve. Men who are not directed by their wives. Just look at me. Raymond, my brother. You've been suffering. We have been suffering. In fact, for you to feed sometimes, I do buy you food. Now, God has decided to wipe away your tears. To help your family. He has blessed you. And your wife wants you to return the blessing that God has bestowed on you. Can't you think? Are you daft for crying out loud? Since you married this woman, you've, 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 from 100% to 0%. From two bedroom flat that you were living comfortably and two cars to nothing. Is it not obvious she's a bad luck to you? Yes, your wife is a bad luck. Why are you saying I'm even angry? Look, Eddie, 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 Eddie. Hello, brother. Please, are you at home? Okay, please, I need to come tell you of a new development. Okay, okay I'll come immediately. Huh? Hey, Eddie, good day. Yeah, good day, Jimmy. Mm. How are you? I'm fine. Raymond is not at home. He hasn't come back. No, no, no. I haven't come to see Raymond. I've come to see him. Hey? Yes, please. I was about going out. Okay, no problem. Just sit down. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You see, since you're going out, I have to go straight to the point. Yes, sir. It's about the money. The money your husband found in your computer building. Okay. You see, Julie, sometimes we don't understand how or when God blesses us. But consequently, we tend to miss his blessings because we are not prepared to grab it. I'm trying to follow your line of argument. Julie, I understand that you want this money returned to the police. Yes. But then, you have to think about the consequences. Do you think if Raymond returns this money to the police that they will applaud him or praise him for a job well done? No, you got it all wrong. Because the police I know will arrest your husband, jail him, frame your one and only husband for kidnapping or robbery. And I know you don't want that. Then he would have cleared his conscience and remain poor? Come on, Julie, what are you saying? What are you saying? Can't you see that this is God's intervention? We don't have to put it to suspension because of your intervention. It is not. It is bad omen. See, it's not Ray keeping this money that worries me. But the risk of this arm robbers coming back for it. If it is God's gift, it will add no sorrow. This will. And I will not allow my husband to endanger our lives. Come on, Julie. No one is endangering one's life here. The police doesn't even know we have this money. It's only the family. This is my position, Eddie. And it will not change. Ray knows it. And, Eddie, if you are the one inciting Ray to keep that money, please stop it. Thank you. 
You want to go? Yes. Okay, I I'll have to take my leave then. No, ladies first. <laughs> okay. Seems to be easy. The more you fight, becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on, and leave the rest for God. Nothing seems to be easy. The more you try, becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on, and leave the rest for God. When you try hard and you work hard, it yields nothing but cheese. When you try hard, you work hard, and it seems your hope is lost. John! 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 It is true! John! 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 Raymond! <laughs> it is true! Raymond! Raymond! Tell me it's a lie! I'm sorry. Where were you? I'm sorry. John, where were you? We were all short. I don't know who called your brother in law. He came and moved the body to the mortuary, Raymond. I'm sorry. I tried to call you, but your number was not going through. Which of you is Raymond? That's Raymond. Uh, Mr. Raymond, you are required to come with us to the police station to answer some questions pertaining to your wife's death. Shall we? Officer. <laughs> John! Nothing seems to be easy. The more you try, it becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on. I leave the rest for God. Nothing seems to be easy. <laughs> Boy, tried becomes risky. Keep pushing on, hold on. I leave the rest for God. When you try hard and you work hard, it yields nothing but cheese. Young man, since you have uh, finished signing. The bare bone. I have to release him for you. Wow, wow. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Uh, thank you loads. I appreciate immensely. Thank you. Thank you deep down. Ah, it's all right. Corporal, sir. You have to go and bring the accused that was charged for his wife's murder. Yes, sir. I'm here. Oh, thank you, sir. All right. People like you will live long. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey, what is it? How are you? Yes. Okay. Uh, Diffio, how is the investigation going? Is it first? That is no problem. You see, after a series of investigations, we find out that the young man is innocent. He has no hands in the killing of his wife. He was in the village when his wife died. I'm not free to go. Thank you, very friend. Much. I can take you down. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Eric. I was I was also shocked when I heard the news about my late wife. I did not kill my wife. I mean, I wouldn't have killed my wife for anything in this world. I love my wife. No, no, no. You want to tell me? Do you want to stand here yeah, and tell me that you know nothing yeah, about my sister's death? Please, please. You want to tell me you know this is just for money? It hasn't gotten to that. Please, please sit down. Sit down. How can you say anything like that? I did not kill my wife. Look, I love my wife so much. How can you possibly say that I use my wife for money rituals? I wouldn't do that. 
Look, Mr. Eric, do me one favor. Show me the corpse of my late wife. That's what I ask of you. Let me pay her last respect and give her a befitting burial. Is that too much to ask? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, Raymond, or whatever you call yourself. See, if I see you close to my sister's body, if I see you anywhere close to my head, you'll be pushing me. You'll be pushing me. Just calm down. Don't want to see you. It's okay. Calm down. Raymond, you should be happy that you are the granted bearer. I did not kill my wife. That's what I'm saying. I did, I did not kill my wife. I did not kill my wife. I did not kill my wife. Let's go. Officer, I'm done here. It's okay. I don't want to to carry this I'm really, really tired. Please leave my office. I sincerely appreciate your kind attention. Thank you. to go talk with my wife. That's what you told me. That when you get to the house, you guys will see this adult and talk things out. That's what you told me. Then you went to my house a few hours when you left. You told me that my wife is dead. What did you do to my wife? What did you do to my wife? To my wife? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What did you do to my wife? Now people are watching. What's your problem? You acting like a clown. Um... It's true, yeah? I went to talk to your wife. But the more I tried to talk to your wife, the more she was determined to expose us. I could see it in her eyes. She wanted to go straight to the police station and report that you have such money at home. Do you know what that means? It means you will be dead, man. That's what it means. I was, I was looking out for you, man. What means that money without my wife? Tell me. Of what use is that money without my loving wife? What are you saying? Well, that's true. Uh, at some point. But then, maybe you have 80 million naira. With 80 million naira, you can marry as many wives as you want. To what end? I ask you, brother, my fate, what, what do I have left 80 million naira resting somewhere for you? That's what counts. That's the turning point. Listen, if I were you, I wouldn't go back home and think about how to invest in that money and expand your coast. Nigga, we need a toast, man. What are you saying? Do you know what 80 million naira is? That reminds me. I want us to come to terms here. Let's have an agreement. Anyone, I repeat, anyone that hears of that money must die. Straight up. Container all sold straight up. You know, our bankers are smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, tell me, how about the Canadian oil deal? How is it going? Oh, no, sign and seal. Guess what? They have given us the sole right to be a major distributor here in Nigeria. And you were bad. And you can say that you were bad. <laughs> 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 
That's for sir. Yeah, but that's it. That's it. You see, my brother, with this good news, I am going straight up to propose to my one and only cousin. It's mm -hmm. about time, bro. Mm -hmm. I agree to that. There's no time, man. Go ahead, man. I'm solidly behind you. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's been, it's been a while. We've mm -hmm. been on base. I mean, yeah. it's high time to see. It's you. about that time, bro. You're not getting any younger. Of course, of course. It's so okay. seal it, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Talking about marriage, Raymond, I think it's not wrong to get yourself a woman. How about that? <laughs> bro, when it comes to women, count me out. At least not for now. Hmm? What you should do is get your woman, get acquainted, get this shit done after you said married before you haven't. So it's about that time, all right? Oh, Just yeah. go through, all right? Right, right? That's true, that's true. You got a point. You've tested that, so it's about time. It's about that. that time. Okay. Wow, that's it. That's it, man. I'm happy. Absolutely. Millions upon millions. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing seems to be easy. The boy you try becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on, but leave the rest for God. Nothing seems to be easy. Boy, it right becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on, but leave the rest for God. We try hard and you work hard, it is nothing but cheese. We try hard, you work hard, and it seems our hope is lost. I'm in a crossroad. My love is twisted. I feel I'm unaccepted. Who can reverse this? Nothing seems to be easy. The more you try, it becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on. But leave the rest for God. Nothing seems to be easy. The more you try, it becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on.
pastora lady here. She, she, she was just buying something. You know, Sam? One girl, she, she came here. She, she came here just now, just now. I, 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 I've been here all from here. Yesterday on, on my way home, I, I saw someone that looks very much like her. The same height, the same way she moves, almost the same yes. physique. And the woman I, I, I pulled over, I didn't, I didn't see her again. Brother, the problem is that you work too hard. You need to rest. You need to have time for yourself. Okay. The other moves that was like this wedding, you actually took 
time, everything, you did everything for him. That is the problem. Please rest. Uh, you need to rest. I, I, I think you have a point there. You know, either of the two, or, or something has to be responsible for this illusion, but I'll call it, you know, I'll try to sort things out with him. Okay, but... Um, the food. Alright, let's go eat. He just stepped out some minutes ago, but you can wait for him. Oh, um, I need to discuss something very important with him. But since he's not around, I'll take my life. No, 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 no. Look, you can wait for him. Just stay with me and wait for him. Uh, what do you want? Food, drinks? No, I'm fine. I need to see Eddie. Uh, oh. uh, did Eddie tell you the good news? Did he? Okay, let me share it with you. I'm pregnant for him. <laughs> You are? Yes. Oh, 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 I... Good news, good news. I, I can tell how thrilled Eddie must have been hearing that good news. Of course it is, just like myself. You don't know how happy I am. I am so excited. Uh, you should be, you should be. Uh, um, you know, Eddie and I have come a long way. We're like childhood friends, best of friends. So, if there's anything Eddie loves the most, is becoming a father. So I can tell how happy you must have been hearing that good news. Mm -hmm. You know what? Eddie told me how close the both of you are. And three days ago, he told me how some years ago the both of you made money and started business. Just your luck. I... Um... You... you he, he told you what? Come on, Ray. You know what I'm talking about. Hmm? He told me how you saw money in an completed building. The building he asked you to clear for me. That was a huge break for you. You are lucky. You're so lucky. <laughs> um. Uh, okay, madam. Um, I have to run along now. There is somebody I really need to catch up with. All right. When Eddie comes back, tell him I came here. Okay, I will. Bye. Your call sounded urgent. Is everything all right? Everything is not all right. What happened? Please sit down. No, there's no need for that. Just go straight to the point. What is it? Good. Your wife gave me the good news that you are about to become a father. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> she told you that? She told me that. Wow. You see, I was going to tell you, yeah, but I was looking for the best time to do that. Hopefully, when we do drink tonight. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, expecting the song pretty soon. Okay. She seemed to know a lot too. She told me that her husband told her how we made our money. Um. Uh, Raymond. Yes, I, I, I told her, and she told you too because. We are family, and I mean we are blood. <laughs> I don't think he's wrong. He's not wrong. Um, Eddie, 
You are very good in certain rules. Therefore, you should be very good in keeping them. Uh, Raymond, deep down, I am sorry. But all right, I know I messed up big time. But I'm going straight now to warn her. I mean, is she not stupid? Too late. Where is my wife? She's dead. Why? She knows so much. And then you killed her. <laughs> now your wife knows the same thing. She must die. Raymond, what are you saying? What are you saying? How can I kill my wife? You just congratulated me right now. Are you pregnant? Are you want me to kill her? You're very good in killing people's wives. I will let you know that I am also a specialist. You have 24 hours to kill your wife. Else, I'll do it myself. Raymond, what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm done. Raymond. Please, Raymond. I beg you with God's name, please don't do this. M my wife is pregnant, she's got my baby. How can I kill her? Please. Your time starts now. The earlier, the better. <laughs> Please. Do you know that your actions is not only lost the love, I mean the confidence, the trust we have for me? Do you think it's done, anyone? Did I? It was my intention, man. Oh my God. Please, I beg you, please. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Why did the police get to find that? But once! Don't you know I'm going there? Please don't grow cold on me. I beg you in the name of God. It's too early. Please. You, you don't even understand the gravity of what you've done. I know. But if not for anything, for the sake of our born child, let us build this love and trust again. Please, I beg you. Please. Kwasi, what have you done? What have you done? What? Because you asked for 100 million, I gave you the 100 million. You told me you would deliver on Monday. Today is Thursday. What are you telling me? Look, business is business. You asked me to pay you money, I paid you. So don't tell me that. That was what you told me 100 million when I sent you the money. What are you telling me? Look, look, Thursday. Thursday, alright? Um, I'll have to call you guys, man. You 
she dead? Involves you taking 80% of our investment and I'll take 20. I don't mind. If you want to take all, you can have it. Please, please spare my wife's life. She's got my unborn child. Please, they are all I have. The other day I came to your house and met your wife and she told me the secret that you and I vowed never to tell anybody. I wanted to come tell you that I was beginning to see the spirit, the ghost of my wife. I discussed it with my little sister and guess what she told me? Two things. It is either I've been walking too much, I was missing my beloved wife so much. And I said, no, let me come discuss with a brother, my best friend, only for me to come to your house. I discovered that all my wife cries out for is vengeance. Raymond, Raymond, please just, just let all this go. The deed has been done. Please. Good. It will not be fair if Julie dies and cause the leaves. Why did Julie die in the first place? Because she knows. Now Cozy knows. She will die. She must die. tries it, will kill me first. Very well then, if that's your final decision. So be it, brother. Since you wouldn't do it yourself, I present to you the diamond security, sir. This is um, calling Seiji K, Sunday and Adela. Present them to you. Wow, okay, that's great. Um, gentlemen, you're welcome. All right, um, your job is so simple. You just have to be at an alert. You just have to be at alert all the time. Report any suspicious movement to me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So I want one person to be at the entrance gate, then one person be at the main gate, then the two of you are not be here okay anyone coming in must be cleared by me before you let him in him or her is that clear yes sir all right so that will be all for now we'll tell you sir. baby do you think that man at the itchy might be a kidnapper or very dangerous my love i i just can't tell sincerely but i just don't want to take any chances okay by the way he was telling you something yes why well, because i noticed you are kind of arguing with him or stuff like that yes he was asking me to follow him i told him no he kept insisting that i must follow him it was really really horrible it was a horrible experience this is stupid because let's go inside what kind of Save your greetings. You know you're not supposed to be seen here. That is why I came to make amends. Amend what? Yes. Felicia, please. 
You and your husband have got to believe me. I did not kill my wife. I can't kill my wife. I love my wife. Why is it so difficult for you guys to understand? Please. Ever since my beloved wife passed on, you guys are the only ones I have. I mean, how can I have peace when fully work that I'm not in good terms with you? How can you have peace? Look at you. All rich and good looking. This is after your wife's death. In fact, everybody thinks you use your wife for money rituals. What? How can you say that my definition? You know fully well that I love my wife. Felicia, please, I beg you, help me convince your husband that I did not kill my wife. I can't kill my wife. Please, Felicia, please. Raymond, in fact, this discussion never took place. Leave my house. If my husband comes back here and sees you here, you wouldn't like what he would do to you. In fact, me standing here won't be spared. So please leave. Felicia, please, look at me, look at me, does it look like I have peace, does it look like I have rest of mind, please, help me make your husband understand that I will not kill my wife, I love my wife. Raymond, leave my house, I'm begging you, please go, yeah. Just the Pastor, you're welcome to my house. Thank you, Brother Raymond. What happened? I didn't see you in church last Sunday. Um, I left the country for a business trip. I, I came back on Monday. Wow. Well, thank God. Hope your trip was successful. Well, bless God. The reason I called this meeting, before I proceed on the reason I'm here, I would like us to say a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you for this meeting. We ask, for oh God, that you take preeminence, touch our hearts and our minds in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brother Raymond, I've called this meeting at the instance of Brother Eddie. Brother Eddie told me he offended you and wishes to ask for your forgiveness in my presence. That is the reason I'm here. Thank you, Pastor. Raymond, please. I know I've wronged you. I know that I've done something bad to you. Forgive me. 
if not for anything, for the God we serve. Please. I'm so sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Please. Just let it go. Let it go. Let's move on. I'm your brother. Raymond, stand up. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Down. Um, Pastor, once again I'll say a very big thank you to you. If God in heaven can forgive us our sins, who am I not to forgive this man here? I forgive him. Thank you. Brother. Thank you. Brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Pastor, I have forgiven this man. I regard you, I respect your presence. Trust me from the depth of my heart. I forgive this man. But I will never, ever have anything to do with this man ever again. For the Raymond. If truly you are forgiving him, why didn't you shake his hands? That won't be necessary, sir. If God in heaven can forgive us, why not? I have forgiven him. Brother Raymond, you have demonstrated you are a Christian. You have forgiven, and God in heaven will also forgive you and bless you. God bless you too, sir. God bless you. Um, without wasting much of your time, I will go inside and check on my sister. I have somewhere very important we are going to. Thank you very much. Bro, Eddie, what is that little transfer between both of you? Um, Pastor, it's, it's just a business transaction. That's all I can say for now. Really? Nothing seems to be easy. The more you try, it becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on. Don't leave the rest for God. Nothing seems to be easy. The more you try, it becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on. Don't leave the rest for God. We try hard. And you work hard, it yields nothing but tears. When you try hard, you work hard, and it seems all hope is lost. Oh, oh, I feel I'm in a crossroad. My love is twisted. I feel I'm unaccepted. Honey, welcome back. How did you go at the pastors? He said he has forgiven me. But you still look worried. Don't you believe him? He said he has forgiven me, but he will never be my friend again. I mean, I don't know what that means. That means he has truly not forgiven you, because to forgive is to forget. Baby, can I ask you something? Yeah? What exactly is all this about? Is it because I opened my mouth that your friend is taking this too far? Fine, I know he's disappointed, but is he not pushing this too far? And why are you so afraid of him? Is there something I need to know? Is there more to this? I am Kosi, please. I need to rest. I'm tired.
Hello, baby. Hello, I can hear you. Someone is following me with a car. What? Yes. Where are you? I'm on our street. I'm close to the house. Please open the gate. Open the gate. Quick, quick. Oh, 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 oh. Have any issue with anybody at all? I mean, business issue. No, officer, I, I don't. Uh, what, what about your mother? Does she have any relationship with anybody at all? No, officer. The man in question, have you seen him before? Never. It's all right. I thought that you people would have um, assisted us or give us the clue to arrest them. But there's no problem. What happened is that I have to send my boys to come and watch over your mother. So that if there is one demand comes, we'll be able to catch them. Wow. That would be nice, sir. I really appreciate your, your involvement. I appreciate it immensely. And I want you to understand that whichever way you want me to contribute to the investigation, I, Eddie, and my beautiful wife here is ready to assist. Please. That's no problem. Yeah, thanks. Uh, please, I will appreciate if you keep this as just a token, but I just have it. Thank you very much. Keep it. We are not like that. We work for what we are paid for. Huh? Oh, really? No problem. Keep it. Okay. Uh, thanks, sir. So in that case, I'll, I'll have to be on my way. And please, kindly mobilize your boys to get started. Okay? Okay. That's no problem. Eh? So whenever people notice any strange around you, just make a call to us. Right. Right. Sure, sure. That's what it is. I'll put you on call immediately. Okay, thank you, thanks. All right, all right. So you insist that I keep the money, yeah? Right, that's no problem. Go with it, eh? All right. Hello? It's all right, it's all right. I'm, um... You 
refused to teach me. I cannot find your pants. For what? Uh, Ovin, you know I love washing your pants. No, eh? I love I washing your it. pants. I can't yeah. wash it like this. I want to wash your pants. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Bring your pants. Let's wash. Tell your boy what I want. want to spoil my hair. I love washing your pants. I love. to go talk with my wife. That's what you told me. That when you get to the house, you guys will see this adult and talk things out. That's what you told me. Then you went to my house a few hours when you left. You told me that my wife is dead. What did you do to my wife? What did you do to my wife? To my wife? Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. What did you do to my wife? Now, this is like watching. What's the problem? You acting like a clown. Um... It's true, yeah? I went to talk to your wife. But the more I tried to talk to your wife, the more she was determined to expose us. I could see it in her eyes. She wanted to go straight to the police station and report that you have such money at home. Do you know what that means? It means you will be dead, man. That's what it means. I was, I was looking out for you, man. What means that morning without my wife? Tell me. Of what use is that money without my loving wife? What do you say? Well, that's true. Uh, at some point. But then, <laughs> maybe you have 80 million naira. With 80 million naira, you can marry as many wives as you want. To what end? I ask you, brother, my fate, what, what do I have left 80 million naira resting somewhere for you? That's what counts. That's the turning point. Listen, if I were you, I will go back home and think about how to invest in that money and expand your coast. We need a, we need a toast, man. What are you saying? Do you know what 80 million naira is? I want us to come to terms here. Let's have an agreement. Anyone, I repeat, anyone that hears of that money must die. Straight up. contacted our company's lawyer. I asked him to prepare a splitting document between us as regards our company. And what happens after that? He has done his job. He will bring your own copy for you to sign. It's alright. 
If that's what you want, that's fine. We part ways forever. I'll go home and let my wife of the latest development. And I'll get back to you. But then, Raymond, that means you lied in front of the man of God when you said you've forgiven me, yeah? you're about to start. I hope you can finish it to the end. Bring it on. I'm ready. Is anyone home? Yeah, who's there? Um, good evening. Raymond, what are you doing here? Raymond, please leave my house. I beg you in the name of God, just go. My husband won't be happy seeing you here at all. Please Madam, leave. please, I need to see your husband. Raymond, I don't want to hear anything. Just leave my house, please. I'm begging you. Go. Madam, I want to see your husband. Raymond, leave my house. <laughs> I should let him be. Daddy, Daddy! Oh, beautiful daughter. How are you? Fine. You had something to eat? Hmm? Uh, I mean, Daddy loves you, right? Please, Please allow me to talk to my dad. Raymond, let's have me. Um, Brother Eric, I love my wife so much. There is no way I could have had a hand in my wife's death. Look, look, I couldn't have soiled my hand in, in, in anybody's blood for money ritual. How much more my wife? I love my wife. Look, this few months has been hell for me. Everywhere I go, I see my wife. In my dreams, I see my wife. As a matter of fact, a few minutes ago when I was driving, I still saw my wife. Please, uh, 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 Brother Eric, you have got to show me where my beautiful wife was laid. Show me her grave. That's all I ask you. No, no. Raymond. Raymond, if you did not use my sister for money rituals, how come your sudden wealth? 
immediately after her death. Immediately after her death. How come? How come? How come? All this, all this. Where did this, where did this, where's all this coming from? I will tell you everything you need to know. Let us start talking. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. How may we help you? Um, I'm looking for the owners of this house, either the mother or the husband. Are they in? From where, sir? Do they know you are coming? Yes, they know. Uh, are you the lawyer? Ah, uh, uh, yes. I'm the lawyer. I'm the lawyer. I think he's the one Madam told us about. Okay. Okay. Come with me. All right. Yes, it is me, darling. Is this how to welcome the long gone fiance? Huh? Leave my house. I am married. Leave me alone. Go away. Is that why you left Abuja? I'm asking you. Huh? Oh, you think I won't find you? You are so ungrateful and wicked. My God will punish you. Well, I just came to collect all my money and the documents to my property now. And if you do otherwise, I will love you. All I need from you is just my money, and I will go. Yes, I will go. Guys, he's not the lawyer. Take it away, guys. By the time I came back from the village, they told me that you already took the body away. There is no way I could have had a hand in my wife's death. I know nothing concerning the death of my wife. <sighs> uh, Raymond, I've heard you. Oh, uh, well, as it is now, I cannot say I doubt you or I believe you. It's only God, only God, that knows the truth. Ah. Oh. Anyway, what well, can we do for you now? Only one thing, Mr. Eric. Please, show me my wife's grave. Show me where my beloved was laid to rest. I think that is why her spirit would not let me rest. Let me visit her grave. Let me pay her her last respect, please. Is that too much to ask? Um, I've had you. 
we have had you. Um, I'll call you within a week. Then we'll take it off from there. You can go home now. Okay? Thank you very much. You see you? Hmm? You see yourself? He's been seeing you. Upon everything you've been seeing. Whose car is that? Sir, he said he's the lawyer and he wanted to see you or the madam. Are you allowed him inside my house? Uh, sir, he's not inside. He was taken away by the police. Please? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, the sir. police was here? The door? Uh, sir, actually he was in with my colleague. <laughs> sir, this man came into the house. I went and called out madam. Shortly I heard I was screaming. Where is my wife? Uh, sir, uh, she's inside, sir. But I'm, I'm afraid she's dead. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Is the meaning of this, Eddie? Are you okay? Are you crazy? How dare you bash into my house? Is something wrong with you? Oh, you can't talk. You're dumb. What are you doing in my house? You've succeeded, yeah? What are you talking about? You've succeeded. What are you talking about? In killing my wife. What? My one and only cousin. You've done your wish, yeah? 
You're happy now. Look, Eddie, I have no idea of what you are talking about. What happened to Cosmo? Facing a devil hey. right now. A devil who is ready to kill. A devil who is not afraid to die. You can ask your dead gate man. Hey! Raymond. Everyone in this room, starting from you. But Eddie, why? Why? This is <laughs> Through Mr. Eddie Johnson's investigation, and we are ready to charge him to court. Good, good, good. Very soon. Okay, bring him in. Yes, sir. Eddie Johnson, you see, I'm highly surprised to see your case. Yeah. What will make you on earth attempt to kill your friend? Eddie, was it not here he came to take him on bed when he was accused of murdering his wife? Was it not here? Wife. Raymond killed my wife and my unborn child. Do you have any evidence to prove that? Do you? How can you say, officer? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? Detective, Fab, go and bring him. Then you go on. Listen, Eddie, you are enlightened enough. You are brilliant. You know what is good and right. Even if he was the one that killed your wife, you have no right to take the law into your hands. You know that very well. You're saying this because it didn't happen to you. Just, just, just put me in your shoes. Do you know this young man? Look at him very well. Do you know him? You. This man is the same man Raymond sent to. Wait, hey, stop, 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 don't you know that there is police safety? You don't have the right to mess up in my office. What gives you the right to behave like that? Don't try that next time. Let's sit down. Uh -huh. Do you remember the day you came here to lay a complaint with your wife that somebody was following your wife? And I asked her whether she knew the man. And she denied any knowledge about the man. Now you have seen it. Um Dan. Tell him the relationship you have with his wife. Uh, um, thank you, officer. Iresi Noah Scosi was my fiance. We were living together for five good years before I traveled to Germany. Officer, 
I sent her money. Goods. I mean goods to sell and give the rest to my family and put the rest of the money in my bank accounts. Officer, she bought me a house. Yes, she did. But I look the line, officer. I ran into trouble. And I was jailed for five years. Not five days, officer. Five good years I was jailed. Did she know about that? I did not want anyone to know about it when I came back. Yes, officer. Officer, I found out that my house was sold. And there was no time on me. There was no money in my bank accounts. What do you expect me to do at that point in time, officer? Officer, I have to trace her to Lagos. And believe me, the first place I met her was an injury. When I met her, she was surprised and she quickly ran out of the atrium and told me that her husband would deal with me. Officer, that was the first time I knew she was married. <laughs> Officer, what do you expect me to do at that point in time? I have to follow her to wherever she was going to make sure I get my money and the document to my house. Hey, did your wife tell you about uh, Danny? Honestly, I don't know what to say. I'm way too confused right now. Cosi told me about her fiance. But then, she told me he's dead. He was shot. Even when I asked her concerning a guy she was quarreling at the E tree, she told me some guy who was asking her out and she kept telling the guy countless times that she's not interested. I don't even know. So you the man. Have you seen it? And if it had been that your wife told you the truth, all this problem wouldn't have started. <sighs> Dan, how does she die? Truly speaking, officer, I actually wanted her husband to come into the picture. But, you know, it wasn't easy at that point in time. I have to disguise myself as someone who's, who was a lawyer. When the guards saw me, they thought I was the one they were expecting. And I entered the house. She was surprised. And shouting that I should get out of the house. And while she was busy doing that, shouting and everything, she tripped and fell on the ground with her tummy. And died. Officer, truly speaking, I did not kill her. What a meaning. So it wasn't Raymond that killed my wife. 
Raymond is innocent. Uh, Eddie, have you said that Daniel had no hand in the death of your wife? Hmm? Oh. Right. Detective, Father, take him back to the scene. Stand up. Then, Daniel, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's all right. Nothing seems to be easy. The boy trying becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on. But leave the rest for God. Nothing seems to be easy. The boy trying becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on. But leave the rest for God. We try hard. Brother Eric, yes. words can express how grateful I am to you for everything that you've done for me. God bless you. Mm. Well, Raymond, we thank God for everything. You know, it's been going all the way. Hmm? You see, that's your evil colleague. He plans the war. If not, we'd have been seeing uh, different news by now. We thank God for everything. Uh, so, what do you want me to do for you now? I just want you to do one thing for me. In two months time, it's going to be exactly one year my wife passed on. I, I would love to honor her with a memorial service. That's, that's with your permission. Ah, <laughs> uh, Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Oh, uh, you see, you are supposed to be talking about reconciliation, not memorial. Brother Eric, I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. My wife, I'm talking about my wife's memorial service. Okay. You know when you were telling me about you seeing your wife's ghost, spirit everywhere you go? Remember? Yes, yes. That was not actually a ghost. That was Julie. What are you talking about, Brother Eric? What are you talking about? My wife is dead. I'm talking about my wife, Julie. Yeah. Julia is alive. My wife is dead. Relax, bro. You know what? I will just let her come so she'll tell you the whole story by herself. Okay? Stand by. Um, honey, Jay. Yeah, call your auntie for me. Okay. What is going on here? Brother, brother, you talk to me, please. What? Yeah, it's relax. Oh, it's free. What is going on here? What is going on here? Jay. Brother. Why are you looking at me? What is going on here? Why is everybody looking at me? Can somebody talk to me? What is going on? Jesus! Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> so, when you travel to the village to see your mother, Eddie came to the house. I, mean, I was really surprised to see him. So I immediately told him that you were not around, that you're not back from the village. So he said it wasn't you he came to see, that it was me. I said, okay. So we sat down talking. It was about the money. So I made my position clear to him because of the risk involved. What happened next was like magic. Please, if you excuse me, I was about to be out before you came. You want to go? Yes. Okay, I I will have to take my leave then. No, ladies first. <laughs> okay. was going to kill me so I went limp pretending to be dead hoping he would stop strangling me he stopped the pressure on my neck and all his mind was just where the money was and he quickly went away with the money so immediately he left I picked up my phone and I called my brother and he came and took me away. Do you know that that bastard told me that he was coming to convince you to accept the money? I never knew he wanted to come kill you. Mr. Eric, I love my wife. There is no way I could have killed my wife. Yeah, you see, when she called me, I was shocked when I heard about it. But I just told her to pretend as if she was dead. Then I rushed to your house to pick her. And that was how the drama started.
Yeah, Raymond, we thought you really had a hand in it. That was why I told her that it would be very, very unsafe for her to be out. Then I advised her to stay indoor permanently. But one or two occasions you saw her, you know, she ran back to the house and told us that she saw you. I was like, okay, fine. That was when I started my own investigation. Then I found out that you actually had, had no hand in her death. Court. Court. Finally. Finally, you have vindicated me. Finally. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Not risky. Keep pushing on. Holding on. Leave the rest for God. Nothing seems to be easy. Boy, it right becomes risky. Keep pushing on. Holding on. Leave the rest for God. We try hard and you work hard. It yields nothing but cheese. When you try hard, you work hard, and it seems all hope is lost. Oh, oh, I feel I'm in a crossroad. My love is twisted. I feel I'm unaccepted. Who can reverse this? Nothing seems to be easy. The more you try, it becomes risky. Keep pushing on, holding on. Leave the rest for God. Nothing seems to be easy. Boy, 